Now let's start working on the part that lets you draw cards. And we're going to need to pass some information from this page to a new page. And I'm going to go ahead and start by creating the new page. So for now, I'm just going to stub it. I'm going to create a PHP file called draw.php. And this is a user-facing page, so it goes in the top-level folder. And I'm going to go ahead and require once includes slash constants and also require once the includes slash poker code and we'll come back to this one So what kind of information do we need to pass from this index page to this draw page? We need to pass the current hand and the remaining cards in the deck and information about which cards that the user wants to draw. And the hand and deck in particular are going to be a, a fairly large amount of data. It's, uh, the hand is an array of arrays and the deck of remaining cards is an array of arrays. So we're going to want to use post to post this data. And so we're going to need a form for the post. So I'm going to go ahead and in index, I'm going to add another call. Call this output form. And it's going to take the hand and the deck. And then in code, I'm going to create an output form function that takes a hand and a deck. And the first thing it's going to do is output a form tag with method is post and action is draw.php. And I don't actually want this form to be to be visible to the user, so I'm going to add hidden inputs to the form. And the first hidden input I want is for the hand. So input type is hidden. And then I need a name. Now, I could just put a name here, but what if I want to change that later? I want to refer to this value in multiple files on the other side as well. So it's safer to go ahead and put a constant for it. So let me add some constants for the form. Put them right here. Form constants. And I'm going to need a constant for the hand key. So we'll just make hand for now. And a constant for the deck key. Like deck. And I'm also going to need constants for each card, but I'll come back to that part. And then some values. So const keep for keeping a card. And const draw for drawing a card. That should be enough for now. So back in Poker Code, the name for this particular key is going to be hand key. And then there's also going to be a value, which is going to be the hand array. So I can't just stick the hand array in here. I need to encode it first. So that's going to look like URL encode of JSON encode of dollar sign hand. And then I'm closing off that value and closing off the input. A new one. And then I want almost exactly the same thing for the deck. 
make this a little smaller. Except here I'm going to use deck key. And here I'm going to encode the deck. So that's the hand in the deck. And then I'm also going to need inputs for each card. And what I'm going to do here is for card is 0, card less than hand cards, card plus plus. So for each card, I'm going to echo one hidden input. And then for the name, I want to have a separate one for each value of card. So let's go ahead and create a card key. And then the actual name is going to be card key dot card. So that's going to be card 0, card 1, card 2, card 3, and card 4. And then we'll close off the name. And then the value is going to start as heap. And then when the user somehow tells the program, oops, missing a dot. So when the user somehow tells the page that they want to draw a particular card, we're going to make this value change to draw. And then when the form gets posted, we're going to see the data on the other side. So that should be everything for this form. Let's go ahead and close the form out. And I actually need a backslash in here. Now, you'll notice I'm not putting a submit button in here. I could put a submit button for, um, for draw. Um, but I actually want to make, uh, make a custom button for the user to click on. So we'll see how that's going to work in the next video. But let's go ahead and reload and see what we get. So I'm going to reload. Still works, looks the same, but if I right click and view page source, we should see our form. Right, so here's our form, and here's the, oh, I'm missing an equal sign. So those values need equal signs. Let's go ahead and fix that. So value equals, and reload. Great. So type is hidden, name is hand, value is this data, and hidden deck and value is this data, and then hidden fields for each of the five cards with a default value of key. So that all looks correct.